High Priestess Plastano, what is this about you commanding troopers without my say-so? My king, I'm afraid you are no longer in control of the military. This is a coup. Your reign here is over. You may remain as a figurehead if you so please, but your decisions have been lacking for Lord Inu. The Lord needs a strong leader, one who will rule with an iron fist. You are weak. You think you have power here, Plastano? No, I am in control. Soldiers, seize him. Soldiers, why don't you seize your king? Yes, of course, Master Plastano. So, you got the military on your side. Well done, Plastano. Yes, now, would you like to remain a figurehead and not be besmirched? Or, you can die. <sighs> Very well. I'll maintain my post, but relinquish power to you. Excellent choice. Now, we're going to be marching on the Red Railroad. Are you mad? We didn't take that because it's so well guarded. Not if we throw everything we've got at it. Then, we'll have the supply lines to continue forward. Now, I don't want to hear any resentment out of you. The men need to be on my side. Let's get marching. Yo, what's going on, gamers? It's me, Daily Tactics here, and welcome back to another episode of Army Men Civil War. And today, we have the Orange Army, which is now under the leadership of of the church and they are going on a crusade yet again against the reds they are trying to put the reds down and win the war against the reds so that they can start marching on the tan city the holy city uh however the reds are not going to give up without a fight they are currently holding this important railway juncture and this town surrounding the railroad and this is going to be a pivotal position for the oranges so that they can start really transporting supplies away from the shoreline and inland uh, and without this they will be running out of supplies very fast and they won't be able to really keep the fight going so the reds have a pretty extreme bridge defense here they've got a lot of tanks they've got a lot of troopers on sandbag and trench positions uh and they are ready to hold out they also have troopers surrounding the towns uh from trench positions as well as inside of the towns and inside of the buildings but the oranges also have a lot of troopers as well as numerous tanks that are going to be able to sweep through these defenses supposedly and uh take them out pretty well so it should be a really interesting battle i hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to hit the like button if you do enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and let's get it going boys Alrighty then guys let's go ahead and press start right now and the orange crusaders begin marching forward the red defenses begin firing at them immediately to try and suppress these guys from getting too close to the shoreline i feel like if the oranges do get over the water here then they will have a much easier time i think the bridge defenses are probably one of the most powerful positions that the reds have and they need to sort of stop the oranges in their tracks here or else it will be a lot harder later on in the battle for them to actually get a grip on the battlefield and stop the orange advance we got a bazooka trooper here firing into infantry absolutely brutal this little position here is doing a great job of getting some preliminary shots on the oranges taking out a good number of troopers but these units are definitely going to go down they don't have enough troopers to really hold out and the oranges are sort of overwhelming them but on the other side of the uh water here we do have more troopers holding out except the orange tanks really like blitzkrieging right now launching massive assaults these comets are in fact just running over the red defensive positions here taking out some infantry uh and really distracting them it's too bad there wasn't a bazooka trooper right there for the reds because that thing uh could have gone down if there was a bazooka trooper no bazooka troopers up here either it's tough out here man it's tough out here over here on this little uh, aqueduct area we have uh, a down tank and a ton of down red troopers a bunch of red troopers over here dead as well things are not looking too good boys not looking too good in the slightest there's still some scattering troopers but not a lot over here it looks like this panzer 4 going down actually exploded both of these trench lines filled with soldiers and blew them up which absolutely sucks for the defenders but this uh panther right here is still alive which is very good firing away at the orange tanks uh in the distance 
It looks like it didn't really... Did it? I don't think it even, like, hit this thing. I think, I think it hit a tree. It didn't even hit the, um, the tank coming at him. So that's not very good for the Reds right there. That's, in fact, quite bad. Quite bad. <laughs> not great. Not a great look. Yeah, the, uh, the bridge defenses apparently didn't hold very well in the slightest. And now the Oranges are managing to cross the river, or at least start to cross the river here. Um, and it's going to require the Reds to really buckle down, I guess, in the city defenses then which you know is very possible there are a ton of troopers within the cities here uh, that will be able to take these guys out the tanks though the tanks are a real problem here they are just coming on through oh there might be a couple of bazooka troopers around here maybe oh i don't see any bazooka troopers here dude where are all of our red bazooka troopers we saw some in the front lines but now in the back lines i'm having trouble seeing any of them boys this could be bad, dude. This stuff could be really bad coming forward here. Could be absolutely disastrous. Oh, we did see one uh, orange tank over here blowing up. That's good, that's good. How's the panther doing? The panther could be quite, quite good uh, at destroying a few of these tanks. I mean, this is a very high caliber weapon uh, and it has very, very good armor as well. So this thing could be very, very effective um, in the battle if it manages to hold out here. It could also, you know, just distract the orange army for a little bit. If this thing stays alive for a while and uh, holds back the orange assault, then uh, the city defenses could be in a better position later on to sort of hold out. All right, it, it is still alive. It is still firing its weapons. I haven't seen its main gun fire in a while. I wonder if it's damaged or if it's just a really long reload time. It is a powerful weapon, so it could just have a very long reload time which results in it not being able to fire um, as frequently. Let's see, I mean this tank's getting closer and closer, which sort of disrupts the advantage that the Panther has because uh, that tank's gun is going to become more accurate and more powerful closer up, which these uh, Churchills really, really are not powerful at a distance, but the closer they get, the way more powerful they are. They just have really good armor. And this Panther is not really getting a lot of shots off. I think a lot of the crew inside are getting concussed from the sheer amount of bazooka fire coming on into it. It's resulting in this thing really crumbling. It's not good. Okay, it's moving its barrel again. It might be gearing up for another shot against this Churchill here. Let's see it. Come on, baby. Come on. If you take out this Churchill, the Reds will be in a much better setting for the rest of the battle. Yeah, we can bump it up a speed here. It's a little, little bit of a crawl, a little bit of a crawl. Tons of Piots in the distance firing off, trying to hit this thing, and it looks like a Piot managed to accomplish its mission there, and it decrewed the vehicle entirely. The crew bails out, tries to run around. This guy's getting a few shots off, it looks like, with the FN foul. This is tough. This guy's also getting a few shots off, but he's surrounded by infantry. It's not good. Not good, dude, wow. The red, I thought the river defenses were gonna do a lot better than they did. They did not do well, they sucked. They sucked big time. All right, the trenches on the outskirts of the city here are getting pretty heavily suppressed. Uh, they're not really able to get super amounts of uh, fire out. I love this, this guy's like with the weeds. He is one with the weeds. He's gonna have to do a tick check though. He could get a ton of ticks. Blood sucking little goblins ticks are, man. Gross, and they give you Lyme disease, which is just horrible. Oh. Guys, watch out for ticks. Be a tick checking homie. <laughs> uh, either way, the red the red town defense is actually doing better than I thought it would. So you know, where I thought the uh, the river defense was gonna do amazing, that sucks. But the town defense is actually doing kind of amazing. I mean, they've slaughtered a lot of oranges uh, over here, which is good to see, and a few over there. Uh, it seems like the town might be uh, the place to really hold out and the place where they can do very very well. We've got some heavy machine guns over here on this car, managing to spray the top of the bridge and get a lot of orange kills. Um, but straight down the middle seems to be where the tanks are sort of gathering up right now. We got a Comet over here hitting some positions. We got the Churchill over here coming in too. Not a, not a good thing. Not a good thing in the slightest. The other town also seems to be managing to get a good amount of fire out. This trench, uh, ooh, taking some shots from some, uh, tank fire maybe or maybe piot fire i'm not totally sure but they're managing to scrap a lot of the orange soldiers at the top of this hill as well that is looking very good in fact wow part of the bridge just uh blew up a little bit i'm surprised none of the, the sort of shrapnel killed any of those guys sometimes falling objects can do some serious damage to uh infantry but not so not the case here 
did not end up doing too hot, baby. Nope, that was pretty bad. Uh, how are you fellas doing? Look, there's a bazooka trooper! Dude, you have to kill a tank. <laughs> Do it. Please. I, for some reason, all of the bazooka troopers for the reds were, like, at the front of the battlefield, I think. We've also got some reds inside of these, uh, these houses, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so, I don't know. I, there's, like, a serious lack of bazooka troopers in the back here, in the back lines, but the front lines has a ton of them. Ooh, some tank fire actually taking out this building, killing some of the reds inside of it. Uh, and now the building is on fire, and that fire could spread considerably, killing a lot more reds that reside in the uh, nearby buildings, or even in the trenches, I suppose. Lots of oranges are going down up here on the railroad tracks, but, I mean, they just keep coming. They just keep on coming. How's the other side doing? Uh, the oranges, yeah, I mean, these guys lost a, a ton, but the fact that they didn't lose, like, any troopers in the very beginning of the battle uh, is resulting in them really having a big horde of soldiers left alive, ready uh, to keep on fighting as the battle goes on. But the Reds aren't about to give up yet, they're still getting lots of fire out, and they could technically still win the day here. Not to mention, they do have anti-tank grenades, which is a good thing. Oh, this tank actually just got tracked. Who's got a bazooka around here? Who, who hit that? Who hit that? Oh, this guy! Hey! We got another Piat Trooper! Let's go, Reds! Let's go! I, I'm not even rooting for either te team. I just want to see the Reds do a little bit better, because I'm I'm a lover of a good underdog story, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's good. That tank is now immobile, and maybe it will uh, be destroyed if the Piat Trooper continues to get some fire onto it. Nice! I, I think the Reds could still potentially pull through here if they really lock down and... And these CD, city defenses are proving that they are definitely capable of locking down pretty well and actually defending these positions. So it's entirely possible. We do see red victory here. And like I was saying a little bit earlier, but kind of got cut off. They do have anti-tank grenades, so they can lob those things at the, uh, the enemy tanks. The only problem is that the enemy tanks have to be very, very close to them. Oh, this tank ended up going down too. So there must have been a bazooka trooper over here who managed to uh, shoot that comet down. Awesome. Okay, so the oranges have sort of lost their tank advantage here. Look, this comet's exploded as well. Beautiful. And look, this Piat Trooper is now gunning for infantry. So if these infantry men over here get hit by a Piat, like right there, boom, 10 of them dead or something like that. So yeah, that could be something that that Red Trooper could aim for. Let's go into normal speed now. All right, the oranges are still persistent, although they are down like the majority of their tank force and... Like, probably half of their infantry have died now, uh, and now they're entering into the city where we're going to probably see a lot of guerrilla warfare. Why haven't you guys killed this man? What is this? What is this tomfoolery? Why are you guys letting these guys in? What the heck? Oh, we got grenades coming in. What in the Sam heck? Oh, this car ended up blowing up. That's tough. That's a tough loss. There's a ton of red soldiers in this courtyard that could do pretty well. Not to mention, this trench line over here still is filled with reds, uh, which is a good position to have as well. Trenches are always good. Ooh, that building getting scrapped a little bit. Let's check on the other little town. Ooh, this town is not doing too hot. A lot of the buildings got absolutely scrapped by tank fire. Uh, I think this tank up here is actually just sort of overviewing the city assault and, and bombarding as if it were artillery, which is resulting in a lot of the red positions just getting scrapped before they can really do anything. So, not great. We do still have some reds up in these buildings managing to fire out as well. They're getting a few kills on these oranges, but I have to say, this city defense, not doing too hot. These guys will probably lose overall uh, and collapse to the orange uh, invaders. But uh, this city is where I've got a bit more hopes. Yeah, this courtyard's still killing the game. Actually tossing a few grenades out, which is pretty nice to see. Oh, the oranges actually blew a hole in this building, which allows the oranges to shoot through the building really, really easily. That's actually a pro strat. Look at that. That is totally cutting off the choke points that the reds had as an advantage over here uh, by being in the courtyard. Ooh, and most of the reds just collapse. Actually, all of them do. Wow, that courtyard was like systematically destroyed by the oranges. What like a SWAT team strat right there. That was impressive, dude. All right, we've still got reds over here in the long grass inside of this trench. They're getting some grenades out. Dude, grenade right there. Not at the one trooper. Grenade at like the 30 troopers. Look at like how many troopers there are. Oh, okay. We do have a grenade. Pretty unlucky it landed on top of the fence. Like out of all the odds of where that thing would land. It had to land in the one place where it is super not effective. But look at them. They're still doing pretty well with small arms fire. Oh yeah, get another grenade off. 
Nice, before you die, get another- Ah, oh, it was a bad grenade, though. Man, they got unlucky with those grenades. Or they just didn't try with them. That was bad. They could have gotten so many kills with those grenades, but they, they completely failed to. And I think that's it for the red defense? Nope, not the case. Not so. There's actually two more red troopers over here. They're holding out for as long as they can, but they end up dying. The oranges do manage to seize the day, uh, but at a pretty big cost. I mean, okay, so let's see. Red are dead orange troopers, and yellow are dead red troopers. A little confusing, but oh well. The oranges did end up losing a lot of soldiers along the way. Way more than I thought they were going to at the halfway point, because I thought they were just going to roll when they got to the river, but the reds ended up holding out pretty well. I think the big advantage the oranges had during this was their tank power. They blitzed through the red tank lines. Blitz through it. It was it was very impressive, honestly. Like these red tanks did nothing, nothing. I okay, that's not true. Three dead tanks over here. That's pretty good. That's something. But <laughs> sorry, three dead orange tanks. But um, I mean that Panther did nothing, and this Panzer IV G did nothing, which really I think led to the uh, the rest of the defenses having this tank support against them, which is never a good thing when you're only down to infantry. I also think the the reds. Um, putting their, uh, Piats and Bazookas at the front lines was bad. That was bad. I didn't even realize, uh, in, in setting up the battle that that happened, but, uh, it, it definitely nerfed their back lines pretty, pretty substantially. But, uh, yeah, not too bad of a battle. I enjoyed watching. Um, I liked that I wasn't really able to tell the outcome, because I honestly thought that the Reds were probably going to win, if not, it was going to be a very close victory for the Oranges, but it turns out to be, uh, you know, pretty, pretty interesting battle. Pretty, pretty twisty, twisty and turny, which I like. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to like the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.